This speed comp video uses Fusion 5.3 to demonstrate a simple projection setup. The artist holding the Wacom pen is Theodore, a freelance visual effects artist based out of London, England. And as for me, I'm Isaac, your narrator. You may think you need sophisticated 3D camera tracking or detailed on-set measurements for these projection type shots, but as Theo will demonstrate, you can get a lot done by trusting your eyes. Like most projection shots, we're going to begin with a still photograph, this time taken outside of Ion Secret Underground Laboratory in the United States. So a nice shot of an alley, we connect it into a 3D camera. So we see it as an image plane, view through the camera, turn on the grid, and that's important because we're going to use that grid to line up our perspective. To match the perspective correctly, we do need to know the focal length of the camera that originally took the shot, in this case 24. And so what Theo is doing is zooming and panning and scaling in the view to reposition the camera so that the perspective lines on the grid match the perspective we see on the street. Now he's got that matched up, so he adds an image plane, and that's going to be the ground plane of our scene. Now we want to make sure we don't overburden our scene with needless geometry. We're projecting, so the amount of polygons don't matter. So he sets the subdivision level to 1. We'll do that for all the image planes. Additionally, we rotate that piece of geometry, negative 90, and view a perspective view of it. That lines it up with the ground, and all we have to do now Theo goes and matches the width and the length to line up with the street. Now he enables the camera projection on the camera, so we're now projecting that texture or that still image as light, and then reprojects the or repositions that uh, ground plane so that it catches all the light. A new image plane is brought in, again the subdivision set to 1. This will be our back wall. So we'll push it to the very far end of the street geometry and then just scale it up so that it catches all the light. We'll actually tweak that a little later on. Okay, that's looking good, so why don't we bring in another image plane. This time that will be for the buildings on the left. And subdivision of 1 again. So what we want to do here is we want to place it on the left. So first we've got to rotate that 90 degrees on the Y rotation. And in the perspective view, We'll uh, push the uh, image plane all the way to the edge of the street geometry. Since Fusion scales all of its geometry from the center, Theo is just sort of predicting where the center is going to be once he's done scaling it up, and then he does his scale. And the trick is to just make sure that geometry is catching all the light that's in the scene. All right, that's looking pretty good. A little panning to check that the bottom edge of the building lines up with the far left edge of the street, then he copies that left wall, pastes it into the scene again, renames that to right wall, and then pushes it over to the right edge of the street for the other side. It's not quite right, so tweak, and now the bottom edge where the garages are lines up with the edge of the street. And at this point we can probably bring that back wall in forwards a little bit. Perfect. Now, the camera is more or less aligned. We've got the camera positioned so that the perspective all works in the shot and we can bring in new elements in geometry. So, we'll copy the camera projection, paste it back into the scene, rename the copy as Cam Film, and then we'll lock the projection camera so we don't accidentally mess up our carefully calibrated camera. Now, we look through the film camera in one of the views, and in our perspective view, we can now play with the camera and you can see where this is the camera we're going to animate. So go ahead, at frame 0, animate the translation and rotation groups, then go to frame 100. Theo's done a pull-in and down, so that the camera will sort of do a vertical drop in the scene. And uh, just to give a little dramatic punch, we'll take the angle of view down so we get a narrower uh, field of view. Okay, so playing that back, it looks like we might be ready to drop that through a renderer and see what it looks like as a 2D image instead of a 3D scene. So we drop our Render 3D in, enable lighting for our camera projection, set it up to look through the animated film camera, and um, play back a few frames. Looks like it's working okay, but it's also creating a 2K float image, which we don't need for this tutorial, so 1280 by 720 will do just fine. And uh, we'll create a flipbook preview. Now, of course, this isn't a completed projection shot. To do a proper job with this particular image, we're going to have to put some geometry in to match up with those balconies on the edge. And, of course, the garages that we could use them for the lip and that car in the distance. But we've got a really good start on it, and we've aligned that camera perfectly with our scene so that we can move forward. That's it for our speed comp. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to tip your compositor.